many of you have probably seen these pouches in the baby food aisle at your grocery store. This is Ella's Kitchen. It's chick chick chicken casserole. It's about $2.50 and it's as good as you're going to do at the grocery store. But let's see how the ingredients stack up. Okay. It actually looks pretty good. It's USDA organic, organic certified. It's a stage two and it says it's textured but not lumpy, which you want your baby's meal to be textured so that they're learning to chew. Um, if I wasn't making my own, this is probably exactly what I would buy as a protein meal. Um, let's take a look at the ingredients on the back. Most of you probably already know, but the way they list the ingredients goes from the most of the of the ingredient to the least of the ingredient. The first thing on here is organic vegetable stock. The second thing they list is organic carrots, and then organic broccoli, then organic onions, chicken um, is fifth on the list, and then apricots, rice, and mint. So my mission today is to create a homemade version of this baby meal. So let's go to the grocery store and get some fresh organic ingredients. It's the moment of truth. Our homemade meal and Ella's pouch are ready for their taste test. So to be clear, I haven't made a direct copy of this meal because one of the benefits of homemade is you get to make it healthier. You know, baby food companies will often um, do things like call something chicken casserole and then put very little chicken in it. Well, in our meal, chicken isn't number five on our list of ingredients, it's number one. Our second ingredient is the chicken stock and the rice. They have the same amount in each. And then we have the same amount of organic broccoli and organic carrots. And then way trailing behind is, there's just a little bit of onion um, and a little bit of celery. They didn't have celery in theirs, we had celery and a little bit of garlic. Let's not forget the mint. We're gonna wrap it all up tight in a foil pouch, put it in the oven for 25 minutes and voila. Smells delicious. All that's left to do is just put it in the blender and puree it. Just looking at our pouches, we can see the food. So, you know, it's always nice when you can see what you're, you're eating. So let's see what Ella's looks like. Oh, wow, that's dark brown. And let's do our simple. Okay, well, just looking at this, I can see the difference in texture. And Ella is kind of like just spread out. And then the homemade is a lot firmer, even though it's definitely, you know, a puree. It stands up, it doesn't just... So you may have noticed that one of the ingredients that we just completely left out of our recipe was apricots. And here's the reason. Baby food companies like to add a fruit to sweeten their product. And the problem with that is that one of the things that we're doing with baby food is teaching eating habits. So if everything we offer kids is sweet, then research shows as they get older, that's what they're gonna crave. And we wanna teach babies to appreciate a wide variety of flavors, including savory. So I shall start with Ella's. It's apricot right off the bat. I can't distinguish any of the ingredients, actually. I guess I can see a little bit of carrot in there. I can kind of get the chicken just by the, the the grit on my teeth, but I don't taste chicken. All right, let's go over to Simples. Oh, you can see it kind of holds its shape. Chicken, I can taste the broccoli. I can taste the mint, funnily, because in Alice I couldn't taste the mint at all. It actually tastes like chicken noodle soup a little bit. And it looks good, and to be honest, if I added a little hot sauce to this, I would eat it for lunch. Okay, so we recreated this grocery store baby food pouch with essentially the same ingredients, except we changed the ratio. We pumped up the chicken in this so that this chicken casserole has lots of chicken in it. And we also left out the sweet element. And the results speak for themselves. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave us your comments on any of our social media platforms. I love to hear from you and happy feeding.